welcome everybody to AI Innovators in Telecommunications, where we're really focused on helping our customers become an, the AI-driven telecom. And I have with me here today, Angelo Libertucci. Angelo, welcome. Could you Thanks. introduce yourself? I'm Angelo Libertucci. I am the Global Head of Industry for Telecom here at uh, Google Cloud. It's great to have you here, Angelo. And um, we want to talk everything telecom. What are we doing with Google Cloud? What are you seeing in the marketplace? So maybe just to start, what are some of the core trends that you're seeing from our customers? What we're seeing is that uh, operators are diving into AI, not just solely for efficiency or productivity gains, but they're actually using it as a platform for business reinvention. So when we look at the three areas that they're really focused on, one, some of the topics are sovereign AI and sovereign cloud. Then there's uh, uh, adjacent markets into the consumer space, as well as the B2B to C uh, environment in the enterprise value chain. So it's interesting because a lot of what we've done in the past is efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. And now we're kind of moving up into what can I do? How can I continue to monetize? Yeah, you're seeing, if I use the example of, uh, of the consumer space, um, you know, generative AI changes the economics of innovation. So it really allows a telco to quickly uh, experiment, develop, deploy, and scale new services, especially in adjacent markets. So we look at you know, Comcast's uh, smart home offering where they made an investment in New Haven uh, to accelerate the adoption of, of home energy storage. We have Sky who launched Sky Protect with a security platform with intelligent threat monitoring, but they bundled home insurance to that. So you're starting to see them want greater engagement with their customers, as well as you know, more personalization and uh, obviously more revenue. Well, let's talk a little bit about that customer engagement. So when you take a look at kind of the, 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 the customer scores, it's not always great in our industry. So how are we at Google Cloud helping our customers leverage AI, leverage data, get smarter about their customers? Yeah, so the NPS scoring in telecom is not the greatest. I think it's in like the low 30s, which basically means a customer will leave you with the drop of a hat or for any minimal type of excuse. So there's not a great amount of loyalty. So what our, what we're doing in partnership with our operators is really trying to transform really the customer experience. So we're doing that in a couple of key areas. One is the our customer engagement suite, or people just commonly call it the contact center, where we've been on a transformation journey uh, with our customers over the last five or six years. Uh, where we're really trying to enhance the experience through virtual agents, through chatbots. We're helping carriers develop, you know, churn prediction models, get insights from these calls, so they can really, you know, augment how you know customers feel about them as it relates to brand loyalty. And another area, key area this year, is the autonomous networking journey. So, you know, this is where uh, we can be a lot more proactive by taking data that's coming in from the network and looking for anomalies or any type of incidents uh, that might be impacting the customer experience and deal with those in an automated fashion. So ultimately, you know, we have some, some data that we've worked with with Bell Canada, who's a, who's a really strong partner of ours. You know, they've been able to decrease the number of calls coming into their call center by 25%, specifically related to wireless issues. So that's a huge benefit as it relates to brand loyalty. Well, this is crazy at this point. So you, you, you mentioned a couple things in there as we move from customer, customer engagement into the network and creating that self-healing autonomous network, moving up the levels where, you know, is, is hugely important. Um, so both of those require data. Talk to me a little bit about the data foundations we're helping our customers lay. You know, one of the challenges that exists is siloed data in an organization. So we look at all these fragmented stacks that exist, and we've been on this journey with our customers to start the migration of this data uh, into, into Google Cloud so that, you know, they have really a foundational, um, you know, data set from which they can work with. AI or an AI strategy just doesn't work unless you have that access and that unified data platform that you can work well, with. And, and, and when we do that with the customers, many of them, they're not just taking existing processes, ex existing data and pushing them into the cloud. They're reducing the number of those processes and really consolidating in the, at the same time, right? Isn't that part of the benefit that is, of moving to the cloud? There's a tremendous amount of data that's actually discarded when they actually realize the amount of data that, that actually is out there, a lot of it isn't just, isn't useful. So it's really an opportunity to, uh, to make you know, a leap forward as it relates to the efficiency of, of the data that's actually critical to impacting customer experience. That's tremendous. So we're talking data foundations, we're talking customer experience. 
we're talking autonomous networks, they're doing that now and today, moving to the autonomous state. Why would they engage with us? What's the big deal? Why not just go to any other hyperscaler? Well, I think, you know, ultimately we're a data and AI company. And I think that's, you know, that's generally how people know us, you know, so we really have uh, throughout all our modern infrastructure, we've embedded AI across, you know, whether it's our, our, our infrastructure, our data and analytics platform, our developer tools, our collaboration suite, our security, our networking, we've got AI integrated in all that to really help um, every part of the life cycle with our carriers. Um, our data platform is, is incredibly well known. We have great products like Spanner and BigQuery that really fit the bill for a telco as it relates to the high performance computing and low latency that's required. So we've really got the infrastructure in place to help them on their journey. Uh, obviously, we've got, you know, we believe we have state of the art models, you know, and all the R&D that goes into our AI models. And then ultimately, I think it's trust. Um, only because Google itself operates the largest private network in the world. We do it with a fraction of the people that would be found in a regional telco. And we do that because of the automation that we've built into our own network. Um, so we're giving a glimpse of our playbook today to a lot of the partners that we work with. Well, and we're sharing that in open source communities like the Linux Foundation with Project Nephew. We're sharing that, as you stated, with our customers and that 2 million miles of fiber it's a crazy network that yeah. we're running. Yeah. So again, I think it's, listen, we've got, you know, people have heard us say this before. We have like nine services with over a billion users each, and uh, it's incredibly complex network. And again, we do it with a fraction of the people uh, that would be found in a regional telco. And that's, uh, again, I think it's mainly because of the uh, R&D and the automation that we continue to invest in our network. And, you know, we're sharing a lot of that with our customers today, and it's a journey. I think they, they'd like us to ultimately start to share more, um, but we're on a journey with them, uh, and we're pretty, we're pretty uh, excited about the uh, autonomous networking framework that we've launched. This is great, and so I'm gonna stick and end with network. So we started in a different spot. Let's stick with the network, because the autonomous network is, is a journey. It only gets enhanced as we start to move 5G and, and that piece away from the monolithic deployments. So we go to a cloud native type model. Tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, so we're adding tremendous value today with our autonomous network framework um, to customers today. But today, a lot of the network function data and network workloads are still on-prem. So, um, you know, we set up and work with our customers to set up a pipeline um, where, you know, they're having to, you know, set up on-prem type data cleansing clusters, develop an interconnect to, you know, create an interconnect Google Cloud, think about security. So there's a bit of a process there today, even though, you know, we engage in that process and it's not seamless, we're still adding tremendous value with the AI that they're getting out of it. Now, going forward, you know, it'd be a lot easier if those workloads actually would run in cloud, then we would have access to all the data that we need for any use case. It would be a seamless pipeline and integration into our platform. So I think, again, it's a journey. Um, but certainly the value of the autonomous networking changes the game as it relates to where you should ultimately run your workloads. And I think when we, we bring the autonomous network and these 5G cloud native together, it's really what we're calling the AI native network and putting that stake in the ground. And yeah, that is, I mean, I think we've seen that journey start with our strong partner Ericsson, uh, who, who, you know, launched their Ericsson on demand platform. And certainly our autonomous networking framework was a big part of that. And it's an ecosystem play, as you mentioned. So whether it's the Ericsson on demand that we saw or the announcement we had with Nokia and Telefonica, yeah. Germany with the PCF running in the cloud, it's a really exciting journey that's, uh, that we're on. And we're super happy for you to be leading us in this effort. I am thrilled and excited to be leading this effort. Angelo, really appreciate you sitting down with us. And that's it for now for Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications. Mm -hmm.